Welcome to a lesson on non-planar graphs. In this lesson, we will prove the complete graph K5 is not planar, as well as the bipartite graph K3,3 is not planar. In the previous lesson, we learned a planar graph is a connected graph that can be drawn without any edges crossing. And for any connected planar graph with V vertices, E edges, and F faces, the formula V minus E plus F equals two is always true, and this is called Euler's formula for planar graphs. However, not all graphs are planar. If there are too many edges and too few vertices, then some of the edges will need to intersect. The smallest graph where this happens is the complete graph K5. Let's prove that K5 is not planar. We will use proof by contradiction. We begin by assuming that K5 is planar. Then the graph must satisfy Euler's formula for planar graphs. K5 has five vertices, and 10 edges, indicating V equals five and E equals 10. From here, using Euler's formula, V minus E plus F equals two, we get five minus 10 plus F equals two. Solving for F, we get F equals seven, which says if the graph is drawn without any edges crossing, there would be F equals seven faces. Now consider how many edges surround each face. Each face must be surrounded by at least three edges. From here, if we let B be the total number of boundaries around all the faces in the graph, we have three times the number of faces F must be less than or equal to B, the number of boundaries. Or the number of boundaries B must be greater than or equal to three times the number of faces F. We also know that B is equal to two times E, the number of edges, since each edge is used as a boundary exactly twice. Putting these together by performing substitution, we can form the inequalities 3F is less than or equal to 2E, or 2E is greater than or equal to 3F. But this is impossible since we already determined that F is equal to seven and E is equal to 10. Notice when F is equal to seven, three times F is 21, and when E is equal to 10, two times E is equal to 20. And 21 is not less than or equal to 20, or 20 is not greater than or equal to 21, this is a contradiction, so in fact, K5 is not planar. The other simplest graph that is not planar is the bipartite graph, K3,3. Proving that K3,3 is not planar answers the house and utilities problem from earlier in the chapter. It is not possible to connect each of the three houses to each of the three utilities without the lines crossing. And now let's prove K3,3 is not planar. Again, we proceed using proof by contradiction. Suppose K3,3 is planar. The graph has V equals six vertices and E equals nine edges. Using Euler's formula, we have six minus nine plus F equals two. Solving for F, we have F equals five faces. Let B be the number of boundaries surrounding these five faces. Since each edge is used as a boundary twice, we know that B, the number of boundaries, is equal to two times E, the number of edges. Also, since each face is surrounded by four or more boundaries, we have B is greater than or equal to four times F, the number of faces. We know this is true because K3,3 is bipartite, so it does not contain any three edge cycles since no two edges are adjacent. Again, the smallest cycle would have to contain at least four edges. Using the equation B equals 2E and the inequality B is greater than or equal to 4F, we have the inequality 4F must be less than or equal to 2E, but with F equals five and E equals nine, 4F is equal to 20 and 2E is equal to 18, which would say that 20 is less than or equal to 18, which is clearly false, thus K3 comma three is not planar. I hope you found this helpful.